Jarrell Miller. I said, listen, if there's one person on the planet that I'm not scared of, it's Jarrell Miller. Can you talk shit? What happened yesterday, you must be a fan of that kind of angle. I want him to be more aggressive, and I think you've done a great job, Dev, in uh, stoking the fire, are not you? The, the word out of camp is that he's looking spiteful. He's looking powerful. We want him to be aggressive in this fight. He seems to be bringing that kind of energy to his interviews and stuff like that. And I think if he does, I think he'll stop Otto Wiley. Preparations really started at the start of this year because training camps and fitness and getting stronger, faster, it takes a long time. So I'm glad that I had two training camps behind me. And this training camp is just uh, sharpening up the knife, you know, um, final touches come and slice and dice my opponent up for Saturday night. You haven't gotten your run in out here. No, not yet, not yet. Not yet. The back's a bit bad. Phoenix to uh, Saudi Arabia is a long way. So, uh, yeah, but feeling good. Get a good sleep in tonight. And looking forward to the press conference tomorrow. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, talk. Jarrell Miller's floating around somewhere, causing some trouble. So, looking forward to it. He is the undefeated former IBF world champion and current Ring Magazine champion, Shai. Oh, he's the best product away in the world, unquestionably, you know? Movement, power, mindset, please got it all. But right now, I think this guy stands head and shoulders above everyone else. Maybe look at other champions, but he's got the Ring Magazine Championship, shows he's the best in the world. Uh, just big fights, big fights, set him up financially, show everybody just how good he is. Yeah, for sure. A life-changing opportunity for him this Saturday. And another one coming up in February and March. So I've got to make hay while the sun shines, let's say. So when you talk about a cash cow, really, you're saying that we want to make money. The way that we make money is to make AJ against Wilder. We make a fortune in that fight. We always wanted that fight. AJ's always wanted that fight. And you talk about, don't want to say much. Well, when Deontay Wilder was asked about Anthony Joshua at a press conference, he said nothing. He couldn't have been nicer. Okay super light heavyweight champion of the world, Dimitri Bebo! We're talking about a potential pound for pound star and a real pound for pound star. Now this guy beat Canelo Alvarez with ease, beat Gilberto Ramirez. You know, I believe he's the best light heavyweight in the world right now. And, uh, but has been out of the ring for over a year. So good to see him back. But you know, the plan out here is those two fights, one on Saturday night against him and Arthur. And the undisputed, we believe Callum Swift's going to beat Better Be and he'll fight Dimitri Bivol for undisputed. But again, it's one of those where everyone's got to win. So we'll see what happens Saturday. Yeah. Nice to see you, alright, mate? Yeah, sir, you good? Yeah, good. Right, mate. Is that mate, you alright? Okay, off the time. How are you, Edward? He thought you were just a fan. No, taking, a taking a photo. Do you know him? Do you know yeah, him? Yeah, yeah. Pretty big. He's a pretty big star. I know. I'm yeah, don't, star. He, he's, got he's got a bit. He's got a bit. He's gone to his head the last couple of years, but do you know what I mean? So, well, so we got Tony the WBC world title. I tell you what, Tony Bell, you Jai Apatow, what a great fight. What's happened? Well, you never know. Might be a bit easier now. You know. You should say that fight. Bell, you come out of retirement. I think Belly is, you know, retired and he's happily retired, but I mean, no disrespect to him, he's shown a lot of love to the interview, so, you know, shout out to Belly. Would you come on, let's do it. I'm getting fucking the champ to fucking take a photo. Yeah. He has to, this is his job. Sonny's coming out, isn't he? Sonny's on his way, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Great fight that was. Fucking. Yeah, sure. fucking good he is. Yeah, but he's good, man. Fuck me. I mean, he was unlucky, Sonny, with the injuries. Do you know what I mean? But fuck me, he's good, that kill. I don't want a 10th fight, but everything I'm hearing out of the Anthony Joshua camp is get ready for Saturday night and uh, a real fire, a tough fire, a proper fire. You know, what is it? Great night. The former WBC heavyweight champion of the world, known as the Bronze Bomber, Deontay Wilder. But you can't not be worried about that matchup, right? And when that, when when Wilder says, "Oh, Eddie Hearn, he's scared. Joshua's scared." No. We just know someone's going to sleep. 
right? I've always believed that AJ beats Deontay Wilder. But let's be honest, Wilder could knock AJ out. He could knock anyone out. Oh, see one see you, bro. What's going on, mate? You're right. Yeah. Good to see Seeing you. all these interviews, looking fucking scary. Good. It's impressive. Keep it there. Jarrell Miller. They said to me, they went, "Oh, he's, I said, listen, if there's one person on the planet that I'm not scared of. It's Jarrell Miller. Because <laughs> he talks shit. Can't wait. I can't wait for his fight with Dubois. Yeah. They just, they just went to me on the stream. They went, you know. Deontay Wilder said that he's a real champion and AJ is a manufactured champion. I said, Deontay Wilder has never beaten an elite heavyweight. I said, and also, he won the title from Romain Stavern. I said, tell me who he's beaten. Oh, Luis Ortiz. I went, he's fucking 52, the geezer. If he says he's going to knock someone out, whoa, he seems a bit serious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. All that matters is Saturday night. That's what I'm saying. Everything is about the fight. He is the former two-time unified heavyweight champion of the world, AJ Anthony Joshua. How'd you get in here? Oh, uh, bro. I'd be, bro, I had a headache. Uh, yeah, you know what? You're, you're part of AJ's team. Mate, you've got to make me cry.